For more than 24 harrowing hours, they have been waiting and praying. The family members gathered outside the prison in Coimayagua now just want to hear some news, any news, about their relatives. Some of them, like Suya Padilla, already have. Her two brothers were killed in the blaze, locked behind bars as the flames swept through the building. I understand there were some 900 inmates inside a building that was only designed for three or 400 people. It's illogical. They're human beings. Even though they made mistakes, they're human beings and they have the right to live. As the hours passed, the bodies continued to appear. This is the grim scene which has been unfolding for hours here on Comayagua. Body bag after body bag loaded onto trucks to be taken to the mall. And yet, just a few hundred metres outside the burnt-out prison, the loved ones of the prisoners are waiting desperately for more news. There is still no clear explanation of what happened. Different government officials have given different versions of how the blaze started. Some claim there was a fight between rival gangs. Others are still saying it might have been an electrical fault in the crumbling prison building. Either way, almost all government officials agree the prison system needs wholesale reform. We need to modernize the penitentiary system in Honduras. That's one thing that is uh, really urgent to do. Uh, the government is aware of it and hopefully, I hope so, that uh, we start doing it because we have to guarantee the security of the inmates. But human rights groups say the Honduran government has been here before. As recently as 2004, there was a prison fire in which 100 inmates died, and the then government promised that there would never be a repeat. The horrific fire, which has put this small rural community under the global spotlight, suggests that those lessons have still not been learned.